Fuck you. Shalom. 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 That's why the Lord said that uh, Revelation 21. Yeah, Re Revelation 21. Right. Let's get there too. Because right now we understand 
We testifying against this devil, man. We testifying against the so-called white man with all the abomination and all the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the, the trust in here causing towards our people. All the witnesses we have did towards us. So guess what? We testifying against him and letting the Lord know. Come on. Basically, we snitching. He pointed the finger. He did it. Shaking the hand. You know? The so-called white man have done this, man. And guess what? It's a reward for everything that he have done, man. Like Thomas Ma said, we are what? We are testifying. Man. We are calling the devil out for all the witnesses that he done on the face of the earth. You got to lie. Go ahead. This is Proverbs chapter 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, give wisdom, and without thy getting, get understanding. Right, so without your whole shot, right, without the prophecy of your whole shot, you can't really get the wisdom. You can't get the understanding without your whole shot. But you got those Israelites out there, they try to be uh, non messianic, right? Which means that they don't associate themselves. Really, they're Antichrist, right? They associate themselves with the side who was just another man, he was just a prophet. Yeah. You know, he was just this, he was just nah man, we owe the Lord everything. He is everything. He said, No, I come to the value of the book, get that. It's written with me. Mm-hmm. Let's get that. Uh, Psalms 40 and 7. Right? And I'm gonna get into some prophecy a little bit. Because that's where we stumble. That's where we stumble as a people. Because you can read the things in the scriptures that are plain, but the power of the scriptures is the prophecies, and all the prophecies are real, really parabolic. You know, very few prophecies are literal. You know, why well, I say that? I, I won't say very few, but I say this: most of the prophecies are parabolic, right? Now you do have things that's written that's just straight up literal. But Jake don't have the ability to discern. Why? Because they don't have the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Yahweh Shem Habashai to say, No, you're not. But you are the temple of the Most High. And the Spirit of the Lord dwelleth in you. Right? Let's talk about Israel, though. The sons of God. Okay? This is Psalms chapter 40 and verse 7. Then said I, Why am I come as a volume of the book? It is written of me. To do what? I delight to do thy will, yep. oh my power. Yeah, thy law is within my heart. Right, and that's what that's what salvation is. Having the law, statutes, and commandments in your inward parts. That's what true salvation is, man. Right? Give me uh, give me some rock. Oh, some rock nineteen. Go ahead, Karab. This is Revelation five. Start at one. Yeah. Revelation 5 and 1, I saw in the right hand the, the word revelation means to uncover, mm. right? So what's happening is the Lord has set up his spirit, all right, within men on earth to uncover the prophecies, right? To uncover the secret things, to uncover the mysteries of the king. Go ahead. They set on the throne a book written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. Right, so this book was sealed for a time. Go ahead. And I saw a strong angel. Hold on, who is that strong angel? Yeah, I was shot. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. Proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book? Only the elect. Only the elect, man. Uh, give me that uh, wisdom. Of, hold that right there. You can either get it and jump back. You wisdom Solomon three and nine. He said, "Who is worthy to open the book? Who you got it to mind? Go ahead. This is the wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse nine. They that put their trust in Him mm -hmm. shall understand the truth. They shall understand the truth. Go ahead. And it's gonna tell you who that day is. Go ahead." And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. Go ahead. For grace and mercy is to saints. To who? To his saints. To who? To his saints. Grace and mercy is to his saints. Who are his saints? Give me Psalms 50. Go ahead to my. And he had care for his elect. So his saints are the elect. 
Those are the ones that are worthy to open this book, read it, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Those are the only ones because he said those are the ones that he has cared for. So let's prove who the saints are. Psalms 50, it started at 3. It's a Psalms 50, started at 3. All power shall come, it shall not keep silence. Our power shall come and shall not keep silence. Notice this, 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 these, uh, this Bible always talks about not keeping silence. Speak the words. You know, tell them, speak it. Warn. Warning. The kingdom is going to come through us speaking it into existence. You know how you have aspirations to do something? You don't just keep it to yourself. You know, you might have certain people that you confide to tell your aspirations to, that you confide in to tell your aspirations to, and then you're going to speak it into existence. Yeah, see, I plan on getting me a house, you know, 40 acres, lake, you know, next 10 years just to plan. You ain't going to tell that to everybody. Right. Just like the kingdom of heaven, the tale of the kingdom of heaven, the Lord confided that with us. Go ahead. This is Psalms. Let's start back at the top. 53. All power shall come, it shall not keep silent. It shall not keep silent. Go ahead. A fire shall devour before him. A fire shall devour before him. And it shall be very tip tempest around the belt. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth. So it's telling you how he's going to come. This is prophecy, right? When he comes in his glory, he's coming with fire, right? As a matter of fact, he's going to come in the midst of fire, according to the book of Luke. 12 and 49, he said, uh, I've come to send fire on earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? Because what's going to be going on when the Lord uh, makes his grand entrance? World War Three. World War Three, right? I'm, I'm a God one. Go mm -hmm. ahead, Armageddon. Go this ahead. is Psalms 50 and 4. And Armageddon is going to be fought by thermal nuclear warfare. Right. Right. Go ahead. Psalms 54. He shall call to heavens. He shall call to heavens. From above. From above. And to the earth. And to the earth. That he may judge his people. That he may judge his people. Who is his people? Verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me. Who are the saints that he's gathering together unto himself? Go ahead. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, right? So when you read throughout this book, it talks about those who have established a covenant with the Lord being Israel, Psalms 147, 19 and 20, right? Right? This is then we're gonna go back to Revelation 5, because now we have done what? Prove who's worthy to open up the book. Go ahead. This is Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his words unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment to Israel. Israel mm -hmm. first and foremost is who? Who's the first Israelite? Yeah, the house shot. Right. He's the first son of God. He's the only begotten son of God. He's Israel first. Go ahead. Verse 20. Uh -huh. yeah. Go ahead. Verse 20. He has not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgment, they have not known them. And for his judgment, who has not known them? The other nations. Right? So it's only one people. And that is Israel. All right, go back to uh, yeah. What I tell you, what I tell you is uh Y'all must be whole songs, but uh, it's called Revelation. Uh, yeah. Okay, finish that. God, this is uh, Psalms. Starting at five. Again. Five. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Yeah, what's what we're doing now? That's why I said make your body. That's what we're doing out on the highway. We did and we got this season out of sin. We made a what? Uh, agreement with the Lord. This is what we're going to do. I ain't do what we got to do. It's a part of the cup. This is a part of the contract to yeah. go out and feed the sheep and teach them uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Of the That's right. Judgment. Yeah. This is a part of the cup. Go ahead. This is.
Revelations chapter 5. Now he about finished on the Bible. Uh, they don't really hit the point. Okay, now yeah. jump to uh, one, uh, Psalms 130, 148, I believe. But go ahead. This is Psalms. 148 and 12, 13. What you gonna look for? Uh, tell you that the saints are the Israelites. Ah, yeah. This is Psalms 148. And uh, starting at 13, let them praise the name of the Lord, yep. for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. Uh -huh. He also exalted the horn of his people. He exalted the horn. The horn goes into power, right? Yep. So through the Lord unlocking the seals of this book, exalted his people. Can those dry bones live? Yeah. Right? That's right. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai, yes, we can. <laughs> go, go. go ahead, bro. This is Psalms 148 and verse 14. He also insulted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people dear unto himself. Praise you, Lord, Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. All right, let's play. People that dear unto himself is dear unto all of us. This is Revelation 5 and 2. And outside, a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. All right, so the Lord, what he did through his blood sacrifice was open the gates of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to the house of Israel, right? It was extended unto us. That's when he uh, pretty much was brought back in and redeemed back to our heritage reconciled to our heritage you know so go ahead uh this is some more go ahead and one of the elders said unto me we not behold the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david have prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals yeah. so the seals are broken man yeah that's why we say we have the 100 percent truth the hundred percent knowledge of salvation, right? And who is salvation? Yahweh Shai, who you get to call Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. right? So let's go back to uh, where I said what was in Revelation, you know? Was it Revelation nineteen? I thought you said you had something in Revelation. Uh, twenty one. Yeah, yeah, Revelation twenty one and three. This is Revelation chapter twenty one and three. It reads, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is yeah. with men. Right. Yeah. So that's who, first and foremost, is given to the men. Right? And then the men teach, and the women are to learn in subjection. As Apostle Paul said, learn in silence. Yeah. You Cause, know? Because when you go into that word, uh, testify, they're going to testify. Yep. Yeah. We all know what testing is. Testing is about. Right, right. So that's how you know that uh, this 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 is a sign that's going off. You got uh, women pastors, women judges, and shit. Yep. Women pastors, and y'all yep. you know saying women being supervised and managed and shit like that. Over so, men, over men, because no word in the scriptures a woman was ever made. Yep. But it was prophesied that the woman would be yeah, the pastor. Yeah. Yep. 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 Testimony, testify. Is that what it is? Uh -huh. We got yep. uh, to talk about. Yep. This is that, 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 that's, that's the main. Go ahead. Uh, this is Revelation 21 and 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, 
the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. Right. So how is the Most High with us? Through his word. Right? That's how he's with us. That's why anything you ask us according to the scriptures, right, about the Lord's judgment, that's how we're going to answer it, according to the scriptures. Because there's a lot of reputation, uh, what's the word, uh, defamation of character, pretty much, through this man. Mm-hmm. You know? Get him on camera. Get him on camera. Yeah. The Lord's reputation is being ruined by these people who are not worthy. Right? They right. wasn't set up. You gotta stand the elect for predestined from the foundations of the earth to uh uh teach and preach this word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Get get uh Ecclesiastes 12. After you get what you got, uh, another brother give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. This is Isaiah 46 and 8. Remember this and show yourselves men. Yeah, you got to be a man to teach this. You got to be a man to represent the Al-Bashim and Al-Shah. Right. He's not dealing with feminine spirits, man, because feminine go into a lack of faith. Yeah. Go ahead. Bring it again to mind, O oh ye trans. How you think the serpent went after Eve? Because... She was the one that had the least amount of faith. And that's why the words that Yahweh Bashimi Halashah had told Eve to follow, she was tripped up by those words that the serpent twisted. That the serpent didn't do nothing but take the Heavenly Father's own words and twist them. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Come on, come on. do today. Same thing you see going on today. Yeah. The former things of old, for I am Yahweh Bashim Abishai, and there is none else. I am the Most High, and there is none like me. Yeah. Right. So go ahead. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. No, no, no. 10. To like 10. To preach. The preacher sought to find out itself of a word. Right. And they which was written was upright, even words of truth. See? He said the preacher sought out to do what? Preach acceptable words. Preach acceptable words. And that's the thing. These people are not preaching acceptable words. Because the words they are preaching, they are preaching of their father the devil. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words and that which was written was upright. Even words of truth. Go ahead. The words of the wise are as the gods and as words of the, the words of the wise are as goids. 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 A goid was a sharp threshing instrument used to herd cattle. Very stiff, stubborn, stiff necked, stubborn animals. Right? That's why when uh, Apostle Paul was kicked off the horse on the way to Damascus, the house child appeared to him as light. He heard the voice in the Hebrew tongue saying, Saul, Saul, while persecutors doubt me, mm -hmm. it is hard for thee to kick against the bricks. The bricks represents the goids. The goids represents the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei He said, you can't fight against this. This spirit is going gonna, is gonna to get done what it needs yeah, to get well, done. Yeah. <laughs> It don't matter how stubborn you are, all right? Uh, if you are the elect, these words going to keep hoping you mm -hmm. until you get on the right path, the narrow path. Yeah. Go ahead. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 11. The words of the wise are as void. And where they come from? And as nails fastened by the masters of the siblings. And as nails fastened by the masters of assembly. What is this talking about? Building. Yeah. <clears throat> so the words are as a, 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 a building being constructed. Mm -hmm. What was your house size occupation? Yeah. Oh, That's what right? we're doing now. That's what we're doing now. We're building with these words. We're building our people back 
with these words. Going back to the lively stones. Built up a what? A spiritual house. Spiritual house. Yup, 1 Peter 2 and 5. Go ahead. This right. is Ecclesiastes 12 and 11. The words of the wise are as void and as nails fastened by the mouths of assemblies which are given from one shepherd. So the masters of assemblies are who? The apostles, the elders, the bishops, the elders, the prophets. Yep. Those are the masters of assemblies. Meaning what? Putting this thing together has been mastered by a particular group of men. That's beautiful. Go ahead. Verse 12, and father by these, my son, be a modest of making many books. There is no end in much study is of weariness of, yeah. weariness of the flesh. Weariness of the flesh. Weariness of the flesh. Yeah, man. Right? So, and that's the thing, because you want to really understand this, don't you know it takes work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes work, man. It takes work to build. You ever seen a house be built? You ever seen a structure be built? Yeah. yeah. Everybody talking, just looking. <laughs> we talking about the kingdom of heaven being built. Right. How much more work is it going to take to build this up? Hey, did not the Lord say that? The kingdom of heaven dwells in what? Within you. Mm -hmm. Come. See, once the elect gets sealed, I mean, what? Once the house gets finished, guess what? Yep, that's right. Is that the kid that's gonna be on earth? Yep. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. coming down after this discussion. Mm hmm. You see? Right. Yep. It's yep. a process, and it's a process that's going on. Right. We start with the spirit of poverty, how about small shot? Get the two years to bring out. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yashimaya, go ahead. This is 2 Corinthians 13 and 8. For well, we can do nothing against the truth. But for the truth. Yeah, it's hard for me to kick against the pricks. You know? It, 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 it's really impossible. You say if it was if it was possible, they would deceive the very elect. Right, right. But no, man. We know what materials we supposed to use to build a house. Yeah. You ain't gonna give us no damn hay and tell us it's brick. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> nah, nah, that don't go on the house. Hey, yeah. they're just like they're just like you writing the movie. Great point. Go ahead, Demi. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high. A worksman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Working. Study. Working. We building over there. Yeah. You know? And it's gotta be perfect. I'll tell you about uh uh all the uh, being perfectly going together. Perfect is all talking about the body in the house of the Lord. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 15 in the NLT. Work hard so you can present yourself to the Most High and receive his approval. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed. Who correctly explains the word of truth? All right, so you got a lot of naysayers and gainsayers. You got a lot of uh, doctors and devils. You 
just say you got people, uh, especially day of the circumcision, speaking things that they not ought to subvert whole houses, man. You know? A lot of uh, different doctrines out there that's gonna cause our people to stumble, right? Like you supposed to flee Babylon physically. No, man, the Lord didn't say flee Babylon physically, right? When it says, uh, come out of her, my people, it's talking about spiritually, right? You got people out there talking about Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great mm -hmm. is Vatican City, right? Man. Because you clearly can see that they obviously uh, have not studied and they don't listen to the masters of the symbol. Go ahead, y'all can not. Okay. It's just going to, uh, like you said, we build it. We're going to do the big you got You break it down. Go ahead. Okay. Right. Matthew 20 and 1, it says, For the kingdom of heaven is likened to a man that is a householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. Go ahead. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny, they were agreed with who? The laborers for a penny. We're yeah. going back to what? Their covenant. Come. What's their penny? Kingdom of heaven. Going to what? Our salvation. Yep. Go ahead. Labor is, 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 uh, for the profit. And guess what we're doing right now? We're doing work. Right. We're laboring. We got different types of uh, tools we use, and guess what? It's all what? But that same penny. Yeah. Like Tyler Mike said, what we're doing right now? We got what? We got building. Everybody can be stacking bricks. Who's going to make the cement? Right, you know right, what I'm right. Who's going who to dig and who's going to do the cutting? We got different workers for what? Different uh, purposes. Purpose. Purpose. Right, right. It says he sent them into his vineyard, and he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. Right. And said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, I will give you. Right. And they went their way. Again, he went out about the sixth and ninth hour, and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and yeah, found yeah, others. That time is coming right now. The eleventh hour is the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. See that great multitude that's going to happen, man. They're going to come in like a flood. Right. So the eleventh hour is fast to approach it. And guess what? The Lord's going to seek it out. Go ahead. He said, and about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, why? Stand ye here all the day idle. They said unto him, Because no man have hired us, he, he said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. And this the vineyard. So you have brothers coming down, you know, they ain't they, 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 they work here. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get their work in. Yep. You know? Go ahead. And when, uh, select. Yeah. Uh, eight, verse eight. It says, "So when, so when evening was come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto his, his steward, come. Call the laborers and give them their hire. Call the laborers and give them their hire." Salvation. Mm -hmm. And when they have received 
received it, they marveled against the, the good man of the house, uh -huh. saying, These lads have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. It is not thou agree with me for a penny. This is Hebrews 4 and 11. Let us labor therefore to enter into their rest. And that's all we're doing. we laboring, man. we building that spiritual house, man. we labor to enter into our rest, which is what the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Which is soon what? To come, man. Right. We might say repent by our salvation, where do we believe? But that's where we're really going to rest, man. Go ahead, out. Least any man fall after the same example of unbelief. See that? That? But a lot of people have failed today. Putting their trust in man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, letting them dictate over who they out. They can their own understanding to what the Lord has to do. Many have failed, man. And went back into the world. You gonna make a point out? Well, I was just trying to say, uh, what we'll make them all unbelief when they start like uh, talking shit to them. Uh -huh. Yeah, my supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? My up and you know, woo, 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 like, no, nah, man. Standing this together. Mm -hmm. Standing this together, bro. It's working for the better. Yeah. Okay. This is First Timothy 4 and 13. <coughs> Till I come, give attendance to reading, to who? To reading, to exhortation, right. to doctrine. <laughs> is it to who? Till he comes. You want to say occupying what? Prophecy. See that? So it don't matter how long you've been out here, bro. It's just what you got to do. Continue to do your job. Continue to build what the Lord has gave you to the strength and the knowledge of wisdom and the ability to do it. I, I can't do nothing but hold a sign. Well, I'm going to do this shit to, to, the, to the teeth. You know what I'm saying? Well, I can't do nothing but read. I'm going to do this to, to the, my best. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to keep on speaking. Whatever the Lord has gave you. Remember, he gave us talent. He gave us some 30 talent. This is challenging what? Later, he gave you the ability, man. Mm -hmm. So whatever the Lord has given you, use it. Give your all. Go ahead. Uh, Verse 14. Neglect not the gift that is in thee. Neglect not the gift that is in thee. Don't be, don't be upset because, you know, somebody might just speak out of you or some brother do this. No. Do not neglect what the Lord has given you. Guess what? The gift is what? The, the wisdom now is understanding. That's a gift from the Lord right there. To be able to come down here and understand and be a part of this. That's, that's one gift the Lord has given us. And guess what? We can look around and know what we've got. Uh. One gift the Lord has given us, man, is to understand. Prophecy with the land. Oh, hold on, hold on. So what? Prophecy. I said, which was given thee by prophecy. Now go to Jeremiah right quick. Jeremiah 1 and 5 real quick. Because it said it was given thee by prophecy. This is Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. I knew that junk gonna come. Go ahead, uh. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Right. And before thou camest forth out the womb, I sanctified thee. Go ahead. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. See, he spoke it to his sister. See, this, you know what I'm saying? Lord, we're the fifth line of numbers. We were there before the earth was created. You see? Come on. Let's go back what? You spoke what? You went to prophecy here and here? 1 Timothy 4 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee, right? which was given thee by prophecy. Which was given thee by prophecy to the Lord. For the Lord knew us, he ordained us to come out here and preach this word, man. Who knew this? Only one knew this was who? You have about Shemel Shah. We didn't know it. We were spoke to what? Prophecy. We were what? We spoke of the Lord. You see? Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. 
With laying of the hands of the presbytery. Yep, okay. Verse 15, meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that they profiting may appear to all. Yep. Verse 16, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, Ooh. continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. That's right. That's cold, yeah. By us neighbor, we're going to say, by ourselves, man, those that heard that. What you say? Be a Yeah. And one third of the men, women, children, they believe, man. Why? Because they heard the word. Yeah. How many, how, how many people got saved just by seeing the shadow of Yahweh's child? Mm. Or just hearing them? Believing. They, they, they what? They was healed. Yeah. Come on now. Did not the Lord say we're going to do greater works? This time is coming. We just got to continue to come out here. And, 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 and proclaim the divine truth, man, the truth and sincerity. Uh, uh, that's it on the vineyard, man. Mm -hmm. That's cool. You got to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 2 and 19. That's what it means, Karumia. Huh? The vineyard. Yeah, yeah, the vineyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> this is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of the Most High. Right, so now we are the household of the Most High. The word which joins us into the Most High. Mm -hmm. Because we had a time where we were lost. We just continue from our head. We see Je uh, Jeremiah 17, 4. Mm -hmm. Right? So now, through the Holocaust's blood, which was prophesied to redeem us back. Right. right. We are now back a part of that house. Mm -hmm. Verse 20. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh himself being the chief cornerstone. See? So that's the order. That's the order. So it's me that's set up to teach you built from the foundation of the house shop. You know? Go ahead. Verse 21, in whom all the buildings built the frames together grow fit, fitly, fitly frame together. Right, so every piece got to fit perfect. Right? Precept upon precept, precept upon precept. Line right? upon line. And you notice how when they build a house, they build it and they really build a house in sections. You know? They build a foundation first and foremost. Then you will have them building certain parts of the house. It's a it's a particular order that the house has to go up. And that's what people they fail. But the Lord said, let all things be done decently and in order. So the order of these scriptures, how much more do they have to be followed for you to get the understanding? Go ahead. And who all the buildings fitly framed together grow unto an holy temple in the most high. So it's showing you that this is a holy temple. It's not talking about a physical building. Right? So you see them gutter ass over there talking about they building the third temple. <laughs> right? So the Lord said the temple uh, not uh, be made with hands. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't even get now, huh? Yeah. Go to, uh, okay. after you get this, go to, get, go ahead and get this. This is Acts 7 and 48. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temple made with hand, as said the prophet. One more time, Ma. Acts 7 and 48. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temple made with hand, as said the prophet. Temple made with hand. If you see them around every goddamn block, you can, you can go down. Come. Every street corner you hit. Right. Church on every damn corner. Yep. That's a temple made with hands, man. See, aka call a holy house in the scripture. But the most high don't dwell in there. That's why you see people getting shot up in them churches. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? On a constant uh, monthly, then the weekly basis. Every night, then you hear on the news, they be trying to really cover it up, but you hear on the news, 
then another man in the shop of a church went in there and, and did some type of act inside the church. Well, here it is, according to Esau, the church is supposed to be holy. It's supposed to be a, 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 a separate, a sacred uh, temple that nobody come in and do no wrong to it, no harm to it. You see? The one I said he dwelling not in the temple thing. Why? Because our body is the temple. See? We got it out. This is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5. He also has lively stones are built up in spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifice ex acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So that's what we building with. We building with the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? And it's got to be acceptable. Going back to uh, 2 Timothy, was it uh, 2015? Right, the workmen that need not to be ashamed, right, of providing the whole truth. That's the only way that this is going to be acceptable is that you do it uh, directly and correctly. That's what right and providing the word of truth is. Okay. So let's go to uh let's go to Daniel 7, right? And let's deal with the Lord and how he's coming to take the kingdom. So we're gonna get a physical kingdom. But remember, we got to speak the kingdom of heaven is within us. So we got to proclaim it. Right? So we go to Daniel 7, and you can start, start at 13. This is Daniel 7 and verse 13. And I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man, came with the clouds of heaven, the chariots, which they call UAPs, Come on. UFOs, Go ahead. And came to the ancient of days. Mm -hmm. The heavenly father. And they brought him here before him. Uh -huh. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. Right. So this is the kingdom of heaven being established. But guess what? It's going to happen in the spiritual realm first. It has to be authorized. Has to be stamped from the spiritual realm first. Go ahead. And languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. Right. When I told you this in Rock 19, y'all can know this in Rock 19. Alright. Because dominion goes into rule. Mm. So in order to rule, you gotta have something to rule with. You gotta have a stamp. You, you can't just you just can't rule. We're confused. You just can't rule where everybody do whatever the hell they want. There's got to be a law. Got to be a standard. Got to be a standard. Go ahead. You want to start it, bro? It's 19 and 18. Okay, cool. This is a rock 19 and verse 18. It says, the fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. Yep. And wisdom obtaining his love. Yep. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. Yep. And they that do the things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. What's mm -hmm. the fruit of the tree of immortality? Go ahead. It says, verse 20, the fear of the Lord is our wisdom. Uh-huh. And in our wisdom is the performance of the law. Right, so the performance of the law. That's what it is. Go back to Daniel 7. This is back in Daniel 7 in verse 14. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. Right. So all nations, dominions, was given unto him, and they're going to serve him. How? By keeping this law. See? They're going to be in subjection unto us through keeping the law. The house of David, man. That's what's going to be established on the earth. God. Servants. Did mm. you see what he said? Mm -hmm. Servants. That's right. Servitude. Slaves. Slaves. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is Daniel 7 and 14. And that was giving him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. Right. And we serve him now. You know? And because we serve him directly, we got what? The, 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 the greatest reward. 
the greatest reward comes from serving your heart by serving your heart shot. You can go out here and in vain, right? Mm -hmm. Dedicate your whole life to obtaining a master's, a, a PhD, so you can serve man. But when it comes to studying to serve the Lord, I, I got time for that. I'll get that some other time. Right, right. The Lord say putting that off day to day. Because he talk about the Lord coming as a thief of the night. Seek him first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. All these things shall be added unto you. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Seek him while he may be found. Right? Go ahead. Finishing off Daniel chapter 7 and 14. And his dominion is an everlasting dominion. Why is his dominion an everlasting dominion? Give me Baruch for him one, Yakima. Right, this is the root form one. It says, This is the book of the commandments of the most high mm -hmm. and the law that endure forever. So why is this book still here today? Because this is the dominion that is to be set up on the earth, beginning with your house shot, man. This is the rule. Yeah. This is the book of life. Mm -hmm. They don't finish Dr. Uh, Okay. It says, and the law that endures forever. Say what? And the law that endures forever. Say what? And the law that endures forever. Right. And say his ruling right. should be an everlasting dominion. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruling with a rod of iron. We're going to get to that. Go ahead, uh, Okay, okay, okay. It says, uh, all they that keep it shall come to life. Yep. But such as leave it shall die. All right, so you don't got time for the Lord. What you said is you got time to die. Come. <laughs> you got time to die. You don't got time for the Lord. You got time to die. Come. Right? Yep. The, brother, the brother did a lesson with that, right? Did a, go, go ahead. Oh, this is a time and place for everything. Come on, man. So it's a time to die, a time to live. Yo. It's a time to die. Mm -hmm. Yep. You did a lesson dealing with that. Yeah, choose death. Choosing the world is choosing death. You know? And that's what these people, that's why the Lord say, uh, love not the world. Right? Nigga, the thing is, for, for the world. world. Yeah. But all y'all seem to understand this for God so loved the world. But you really don't understand it. It's these different precepts dealing with the word world. One said the Lord himself said he prays not for the world. And then he tells us not to love the world. But then the one precept that says for God so love the world, y'all seem to can completely understand that. <laughs> you don't. Mm -hmm. And that's why it says for his ways are plain unto the holy. Stumbling blocks to the wicked. Alright, but we know what it means. <laughs> go ahead, uh, <laughs> go ahead, come on. But yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that thing to get to the city. Okay, then. It's a Proverbs 13 and 14. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Mm. Man, read it again and then read it again. It's Proverbs 13 and 14. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. All right, so here it is. This, this is just a, a whole fountain of, 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 of life flowing, and you can drink from it. What it say? Come, buy, drink. You know. Yeah. I, I also too say uh, he that believed on me as the scripture say. Bless your flow, rivers of living water. water. That's right. So. Yeah. You, you, here it is. But you niggas, you niggas want to integrate a drink from the same fountain of the, as the devil. Look, we got our own water. Yeah, good water. Just for us. But you want to drink out of the cup of the devil. You want to drink tap out of the cup water. of the wrath <laughs> or the fornication of Babylon. Cup. Yeah, the cup got a ring around it. You know what I'm saying? You see all the lead in it. Yeah, you got chrome. Oh, yeah. Back to the 
mold on the inside. Oh man. You gonna drink this shit? I ain't got no choice. You not drinking? I ain't got no choice. Watch me do it. A nigga find anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any excuse? Yeah. Go ahead. This is Proverbs 13 and 14 in the NLT. The instruction of the wise is like a living fountain. Those who accept it avoid the snares of death. That's your house shot. Yeah. The snare is going to trap. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's Esau Eden. He's the one, the uh, the fowler. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Cause he got so many traps set up, you know what I'm yeah. saying, through through the jobs, you know what I'm saying, through social media. You know what I'm saying? Cause the real deal, people gotta make a decision whether they're gonna risk their lives or their freedom. You know what I'm saying? On the MOTV and in the jab. Yep. That's a trap, that's a snare, that's a trap. That's the that's the that's the main trap. Yeah. That's, that's the, the NRB. That's, that's his ultimate trap. Yeah, that's the ultimate trap. Right that's now. his ultimate trap. Yeah. That MOTB, man. You know, we're going to yeah. get to that. Keep keep going. That's right. No, nah, I'm just agreeing with you because that's the you ultimate trap you right there. Mm. And that's the last trap. Yeah. Come like, on, before come you know on. how you go before you make it to the finish line <laughs> or something. Finish line. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's that major trap right the there, man. That's, yeah. that, that's that, what I call, as of lately, hot. That hour of temptation. That's right. Mm. That's that. Hot trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot yeah. fire. Hot, 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 hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot, 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 hot. Got a baby. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I feel it. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> like on this commercial. Hot fire, man. Got to pass that test. How's your life, y'all? You had something come out? Yeah. Cut. This is Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 13. Yep. For my people have committed two evils. Yep. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living water, and heard them out the cisterns. Yeah, cisterns. Cisterns. Yeah. Broken cisterns that can hold no water. Right. The cisterns is uh, vessels that hold water. Mm -hmm. Right? And David, the Lord prepared these people to broken cisterns. You know? And they can't hold it. A lot of them, they, they'll start getting it. Right? And then, they lose it. They start leaking. Yeah. Because they have pretty much uh, forsaken Yahweh Bashi Yahushai and chose the world, chose death over life, really. So why when they say in Joshua, yeah. choose in his day who you shall serve. Mm -hmm. You can't worship America and love the Lord. You can't love America and love Jesus. Because he said, pray not for the world. What world you think? He was mainly talking about mm -hmm. Babylon the Great. Right. Go ahead. This is uh. uh this is, this is, okay, so let's go back to Daniel. Okay, this is back in Daniel chapter seven, starting fourteen. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages to serve him. Go ahead. His dominion is the everlasting dominion yep. which shall not pass away. Yep. And he said heaven and earth shall pass away. But yep. my word shall not pass away. Yeah. You know that ain't gonna happen. He said uh in Matthew 5 and 18, uh not one jot nor tittle yeah, that's what I'm saying. No uh -huh. shall pass from the law till all shall be fulfilled. Yeah. Come on, man. What we gonna rule with? Yep. Go ahead. You know the earth ain't gonna pass away. Huh? We gonna make our own laws in the kingdom of heaven? Nah, Esau already tried that. This shit failed. Hey, hey, we know, we know not to do that. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. But this how you know, like we're going back to what we spoke about earlier, but even in the circle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How he can be beguiled up. Twist it up, beguiled up, twisted the words. Yep. 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 So this back in Daniel, chapter 7, 14. Not you. Uh, okay, just finish reading before you don't start. No, the finish it off. Yeah, his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away in his kingdom that we shall not be destroyed. His 
kingdom shall not be destroyed. Go ahead. Verse 15. I daily was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body, and the visions of my head troubled me. Right, because he didn't understand the interpretation of the things that he was seeing. Go ahead. I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all of this. Mm -hmm. So he told me and made me know that the interpretation of these things. This is an angel. This is an angel that's giving the uh, interpretation to Daniel of what all these things mean. So let's yeah. go. Verse 17. These great beasts, which are four, and are four kings, which shall arise out of the earth. So these beasts are four kings right let's hit to understand the what what's that uh is it daniel's second chapter we talk about the beast right that's key these beasts are kings come on man kingdoms go ahead we shall arise out of the earth verse 18 but the saints of the most high so take the kings of what? The, verse 18, but the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom. So there's going to be war. Mm -hmm. And after war, there's what you call spoils. Yep. <laughs> All the every time. Anytime there's a war, there's always spoils. So anytime there's a war, whoever wins the war becomes the king. Yeah. Whoever becomes the king takes the slaves. Yeah. It takes the servants. Yeah. It takes the slaves. Oh, uh, like, you know, the brother, uh, elder, the 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 the kingdom means the double sound or dominion of the kings. Dominion means rule. How can a king rule without servants? Without slaves. <laughs> Don't make no sense. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Now let's get Revelation 13 and 10. Yeah, cause like I say, oh, uh, the same shit. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what he said, we all need to ask. Yep. Weapons, of, weapons war. of war. Yep. Every time, Shalak. it has been translated to another power by what? War. The only time it has never been a war. Yeah. 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 It's about what? War. War, man. It's gonna happen again. Mm -hmm. There it is. It's about fruit of fire, like the scripture says. Burning and fruit of fire. Not by swords and uh, stones and you know what I'm saying, shields and you know, you name it. Come back. No, it's about fruit of fire, which is what? Some of you will be missing, man. I see the other missing. Right. We gotta go. Yep. Uh, what you said. Go ahead, real quick. Again. It's a uh, Sirach 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, yep. injuries, and riches, gap by Yeah, the so called white man. Look at look how this is signed to be, man. This unrighteous dealing, man. You want to stop, like, you got to get two years. You know, if you like it or not. Or she like it or not. You're still a piece of bubble. Right now, Jake, Jake, Jake got 15 years. I'm still in the fucking uh, uh, VCR or some shit. Like, uh, it's just unrighteous. Unrighteous decrees, man. This fucking devil is is soon to be destroyed. He needs to be destroyed, man. Why? Because unrighteous decrees. Look man. at the jail. Got by the sea. Look at the situation with the with the with the jungle juice. It's right. an unrighteous decree. Right. Yeah, you can't go to work unless you get this. You can't do this. You can't go to the fucking basketball game or you can't go to a fucking store to buy you buy you something to eat or buy your kids, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You ain't got the fucking uh jungle juice like the brother said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well I'm dealing. Yep. 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 And everything to see. Yep. Yep. Because uh the queen means to declare something. That's right! <laughs> Come. So what this man has done is declare himself to be the most high. Yeah. And he tells you what you can and cannot do with your body. Yeah. 
and then he tells you what to what he tells you to do with your body goes against what the most high tells you to do with your body. Now right. you're in the what? Now you're in the uh, 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 trap again. Yep, yep. 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 <laughs> yep. Messed up situation. Messed up situation. Go and tell you who to choose. Like like you said in Joshua, man, choose this day to be a life of them. Yep. Yeah. So you choose Esau, choose this word, choose choose the devil. Yep. You choose Yah by Shimon Shai and suffer the consequences. You choose the life. Going back to seek you out of the book and read because the, the, the Lord said, I see you out as sheep among wolves. Yep. Be you therefore wise as serpents. Yeah. See? But our people are sheep. Yeah. They don't they just dumb sheep. Yeah. You know, yeah. they not wise in the words of your Bashi Havasha, who in Romans 13 and 1 tell you what? Oh no, there's no power but of the most high. Right. <laughs> so you come to a straight where you have to choose what decision to make to serve. Uh, good or evil, the guidelines is right here. The God is right here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. But if you're not familiar, if you're not one with the word, right, you, you're gonna lose every time. Yeah. You're gonna lose. You put your trust in Esau. Put your trust in trust in oppression. Esau just yeah, made. Won't tell you that do that. Because yeah. he that make uh, flesh his own. No. Yeah. So you gotta choose the right power. You know Times, uh, has the devil let you down? How many times you put your trust in the so-called white man? They do that shit every, every four years, man. They go run and go pick a new uh, 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 so-called uh, king, yeah, new so-called king to, to rule over. Oh, man, we got fighting this shit. Nigga dance, singing, crying. <laughs> Oh, we 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 getting the we getting the bad guy out of there now. Now we gonna we we gonna see some real change. Same shit, man. How many times you gonna fall for the same move, man? What if anybody's at my job? Boy, I be laughing at their punk ass. <laughs> they really thought Joe Biden was it. They were talking some more trash. Yeah, we get you. Yeah, we get Joe Biden. You know. Fucking fights. I'm talking about them fighting. Anybody mad as hell? Cause he fucking everything up. Uh -huh. Joe Biden fucking everything go, man. Uh, not good. Yeah. 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 No, it's gonna be a transition in our way. All these curses that come upon us, come upon what our enemies don't that they did. Mm -hmm. So you start to see that. It's just like you might as well ruin yourself with your power to take away. You slip the door. Yeah. Now, if we going to take away anyway, you might as well, it's no power uh, doing it in the right place. Uh, yeah. You come with us, hey, what is going to be established? You can't even handle it. Hey, ain't no power, ain't no say so. Yep. Ain't no fucking rights. You got to touch my slide. What was we at? Finish. Neat though. Go ahead. This is Revelations 13 and uh, 9 to 10. 10, 9 to 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that lead him into captivity shall go into captivity. Yep, he up. He that kill him with the sword must be killed with the sword. Yep. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. So what are we waiting on? Resolution! We waiting, on, we waiting to put slaves under our subjection. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. yeah. We waiting to get slaves. We waiting to get blessed. That's right. That's what it is. Be blessed. We waiting on our blessing. And the elder shall serve the younger. The younger. Right. As it was on, written. We waiting on it. As it was written. Right. Because right. remember, he, he, he cut his he cut his uh bonds and he you know he been loose for a season. <laughs> so hey, because it was only really a, a time during uh King David and King Solomon 
where we had them under our subjection. Uh -huh. But no, the Lord said we're going to have them under our subjection forever. Forever. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's Ooh. what we're waiting on. That's very right. You know? Go to uh, Isaiah 14. Go ahead. 21. This is Isaiah chapter 14. It's right at the top. Verse 1. And brother get uh, Psalms too. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. That's right, which he did. And set them in their own land. Which is what we're waiting on. And the stranger shall be joined so, with them. It says, who gonna set us in our land? American Airlines. <laughs> How we gonna get in our own land? Read it again, huh? This is Isaiah Ooh. chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel uh -huh. and set them in their own land. It said the Lord gonna set us in our own land. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. You ain't got to go get no passport. <laughs> we, going back to the Holy Land. The Lord is going to set us in our land. Yeah, you got to take the, um, you got to get um, a debuff passport. Yeah. Come on, man. So you got to go out twice. Through. You got to believe. You got to go out twice. Because just leaving, physically, you're going off. That means you ain't got your faith and trust in your heart about to shot. Go ahead. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers is talking about who? Israelite foreigners that's going to be called in what? The last hour. Yep. It's going to be Israelite foreigners to, right into the last hour. So you don't know who the elect is, right? Just because, you know, they may not be woke yet, don't mean they're not of the elect. Yeah. Because the Lord gonna have mercy on whom His mercy is, uh, you know, with, outside of our control, outside of our understanding. You know, we just hoping that His mercy is with towards us. You know, we gonna have Jake that really didn't never preach the word in this in, in, in this lifetime. Let's say that he never preached it in this lifetime. He might have preached it in a previous life. You know, it just heard the word. And got salvation. Go ahead, read it from the top of that verse. Call it in. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Yep. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob yep. and will yet choose Israel. No other nation. Go ahead. And set them in their own land. Our land is Jerusalem. Go ahead. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers goes into God. Right. Those lacking inherited rights mm -hmm. right those lacking the wisdom knowledge and understanding of who they are the true names of who their powers are all right and what they ought to do all right as israelites <clears throat> to serve the most high their job is a servant to the most high our people don't know what that is go ahead and they shall cleave to the house of jacob but guess what when the lord comes back they're going to be joined back. Those, those branches, mm -hmm. those broken branches, those wild olive trees grafted back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Israel. Go ahead. Verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord yep. for the service and handmaids. Yep. And they shall take them captive who captive they were. And we gonna take them captive whose captives we were. Read that again. This is Isaiah chapter 14 verse two. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in their land of the Lord for service and handmaids. And they shall take them captive who captive they were and they shall rule over them, over, over their oppressors. They shall rule over their oppressors. We're going to rule over our oppressors. We're going to rule over our oppressors. Mm -hmm. What goes around comes around. Right. Okay, so let's get Revelation 2 and 25. This is Revelation. 
This is Revelation chapter 2. And 5. 25. 25. It reads. Uh, I'm slack, slack. I'm in second Peter. That's right. This is Revelation. Take your time. 2 and 25. But that which ye have already. But that, but that which ye have already, meaning what? The understanding that you have already. Whatever portion of the spirit that you have already. All right? The understanding of the Lord's judgment that you have already. Because remember, the Lord's knowledge is infinite, pertaining to Psalm 147 and 5. So there ain't never enough knowledge that we're gonna be able to obtain. Huh. It's always going to be something for us to learn of the Lord's righteousness. What's it His righteousness endured forever. Yeah. So within the kingdom of heaven being established on earth, all we're going to do is constantly set up righteous decrees. As Esau Edom, the wicked, sets up unrighteous decrees today, all we will do is constantly make the world a better place, which this man has no knowledge of. Go ahead. Revelations. 2 and 25, but that which you have already, hold fast till I come. Right, don't let it go. Excuse me, I got a question. Okay. How do you come back? How do you come back? How do you come what back you doing back? right now? I lost my wife February the 14th. My daughter was killed February 24th. Everybody keep telling me about God love me. Yeah, he do. How the hell do you love somebody? You let this shit happen. Man, I lost my child and my wife this year, man. Hey. I lost everything I had. And I see all these people out here hollering about God. Okay. Tell me about the damn pain I'm feeling. Okay. Tell me why can't I stop drinking every day? Okay. All right. Uh, you ready? You got to, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to get yourself together. Because, listen, listen. 28. Listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You gotta get yourself together. I want to, man, but it's hard. You understand me? But I wake up, my wife ain't there. I buried my daughter and my child okay. in a, the, the proximity hey, of 14 that, uh, days. All those that Where is that love at? Uh, a hundredfold they shall receive. Yeah. So, listen, listen. So I ain't supposed to be mad. Uh, you you, you, I'm not telling you that you uh, not supposed to be mad per se. Mm -hmm. But you're not supposed to be mad at the most high. Because listen, slow down. You got to hold your tongue. You got to get your emotions under control. Because this ain't that. All right? Talk we men you. up here. And all I'm right? Mean. And we all have lost. Yeah. So you got to tighten up. You got to If you want to hear, hear how to get this, how to get out of here, yeah. you got to tighten up. Because the Lord gave his only yeah. begotten son. That's right. He gave his only begotten son. That's right. He lost. He lost some way more precious than what you could ever lose. So get yourself together. And now, hear the word. Hear the word. All right? This is Matthew chapter 19 and 29. And everyone that have forsaken house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Right. So this 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 world that we live in is about taking losses. This, you, this is this is not the place where uh, we are to be set up for rest and comfort and peace. Right? Yeah. This is not our rest. Right? We are here because we forsook the Lord. We went against his law, statutes, and commandments. This is where we are placed upon earth to be judged for the transgressions that we have committed against the Lord. Death and life, it says, tell you, life and death are in the power of the Lord. So we can't question when he decides to take life or give life. We got babies that don't come out of the Obligation is to the Lord first and foremost. He's the giver of life. And it hurts when you lose. 
Lord wants him to lose uh, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons. But did he not hurt for us? Did he not, did he not give his only begotten son for us? Out of the heavens? For us? What man suffered worse than the, than, than the Lord? Nobody. So, how much more his father? So think about it. You were the most high. And you gave your only begotten son. And what he went through, you had to watch that. Having the Not only that, but he had the power to stop it. You see that? You ain't had no power to stop what happened to your loved ones. But the Lord had all the power to stop it. The son had the power to stop it. But we would not be here Damn. and we would not have a chance for eternal Jump life. Well, President, See, this this world, uh, they say this present world is not where, uh, get, get the precepts. Come on, I know y'all know what you got. Yeah, I got, I got three locked. This is really just playing to him. What you got, I'll knock. I, okay, yeah, go ahead. And then I got three for you. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. This Luke 9 and 24. <laughs> for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Right. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. So, by you being out here, and you continue to come out here, that's how you save your life. And you really want to know how you come back to the Lord. This how you come back to the Lord. You got to give your life up. By giving your life up, you save your life. But guess what? You want to continue to do what you want to do, walk down your street, and you got your day to day, you're going to lose your life. That's straight up. I go to work. I, I, I'm on me. I drink a lot of liquor. I go to sleep. I'm on my way to work now. Hey, get Proverbs 30. That's all I do. Because you got to come out of this this, this, this this worldly way of thinking. Yeah, this, this is what it is. This worldly way of thinking. You got to come to this. Yep. You got you to gotta open this. this you got to open this up and read and get understanding. That's where your peace is at. That's right. That's give, right. Give, give, give them uh, John 8 and 32 and give them Proverbs too. All right. Let me go. Strong drink. This is Proverbs 31. Uh, uh. You know, the now. Yeah, yeah, because he talk, he's he's convicted. He's he's convicted. His mind is seared from his thought of He's thinking he have sinned against the most high for drinking. That, you ain't doing nothing against the most high. You're supposed to drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is Proverbs 31. Unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy heart. So Come. there's a twofold meaning to this. Yeah. That's talking about literal drink. When you lose someone, when you go through a heavy burden, you, you you're it's okay to drink. Drinking is not a sin. It's drinking is not drinking is not your sin. Mm -hmm. Your sin is forsaking the most high. Yeah. He gave us drink. Right? But strong drink. <laughs> this word is a strong drink. Right. Mm -hmm. You gotta drink this. Mm -hmm. We ready to perish. Yep, yep. That's right. Water. That's why we drinking this. Yeah. We drink this every day. Because it says though our outward man perish, this is gonna enhance your inward man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Day by day. Day by day. But see that physical drink. You have to do it in moderation. And there's a time and place for everything. The Bible teaches us the balance of the spirit and the flesh. Mm -hmm. But the devil will tell you that it's wrong to drink, yet sell it to you. Right. Look <laughs> you over, give you a DUI phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> most Christians, <laughs> and most Christians, they go to church, they say what? Don't drink, right? Don't drink. Not like a motherfucker, because even the Lord drunk. Yeah. What do they call him? Why do they call him the Lord? Yep. Uh, can I ask a question? Man, is there any type of way I can study the two brothers or somewhere? Right here. Right here. I know. Right here. I have to get the work. I'm saying. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I gonna do? Uh, YouTube. Can somebody write it down for me. Yeah, brother, write it down yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get these two subs real quick. Write the page. You gotta make time for the Lord, man. Yeah. See, I was just going into that. We got uh, we got a mm -hmm. piece of we make time, we make time for everything but life. Yeah, yeah, and everything that you make time for outside of this really is vanity and it leads to death. Yeah. yeah. And so also, you make time for this. Like, also too, you gotta get to understand.
We got to understand. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, we, we be mourning for our, our people, especially for our that really love and want to like have, you know, that's really about. Because mm -hmm. I all go back to the understanding what the Lord has done, what the Lord is doing. Right now, your, 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 your wife and your daughter are in a better place. Right. They ain't got to go through what's coming. Right. You understand what's coming upon this place? Nah, I see it, but... I can't even put it in the world, but I don't the, see the, nothing the, the, the end all be all is World War III, followed by thermonuclear missiles. Fire. See, they ain't got, see, look, this is something they ain't got a taste of. And you got a chance to be delivered out of this right. by coming here. See, this your chance to get delivered out of this by coming here and hopping to the voice of the Lord. That's right. So if you don't, then you're going to be caught up in this. Guess what? Your wife and your, and your child ain't got to worry about this. And it's a priest that grab it out of Christy Ashes, uh, 7 to 12. Oh. I think that's it. Okay. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Ecclesiastes, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Go ahead. Then jump to 17. 12 and 7. Right. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. The dust represent what? Your body. They return it to the earth because that's where we come from. The mm -hmm. ground. It said, our, when we die, our body go back to what? The ground. That's why they bury us in the what? In the ground. In the grave, right? Go ahead. And the dust returned to the earth as it was, right. and the spirit shall return to the most high who gave See, now they good, because why? They don't feel with the heavenly father. They're the spirit with it. So you ain't got to worry about them, whether they in hell or whether they with the heaven. No, all spirits go back to the most high who gave it. You ain't got to be worried no more. After the day, you ain't got to worry no about where, where your wife and where your child at. They good. You got to worry about your salvation. This is where your salvation lies then, coming out here, making your body live a sacrifice. Right. Because you don't do this, then there was your body, there was your spirit lies in through the music. Mm -hmm. That's what's coming. Yep. That's why we out here preaching today about. Right. Our salvation is really mm -hmm. believe. So if you want to be saved, you want to be delivered, come out here. You want rest truth. for your soul. That's it. I'm telling you, you got it out. The other one. Um, Let's talk about Job. Now, that, I know that Joel 3 and 17, he got that, but he probably jumped out of 17 or uh, 3 and 7 17. Mm. 3 and 17. Okay. Now, that's a rock, but the record. Yeah. Okay. This is Ecclesiastes 7, chapter 7, and so verse who, Who's whoever passed by innocent? No, uh, 4 and 7. It's 4 and 17. Okay. That's Joel. Joel. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. Joel 4 and 17. Oh, okay. Come, you too. Come. Yeah, one more for you, man. If y'all get that, come, come to me, those that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This is Job chapter 4 and 17. Shall, shall yeah, water. Awesome. Go ahead, I'll slide. This is Job 4 and 17. Yeah, heard this out right here. But you gotta have to understand this, so you gotta have to understand it. Whoever perish be innocent. Read it again, I. This is Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee. Whoever being innocent or war was the righteous cut out. Yeah, whoever perished being innocent or where or where, where the righteous cut off. So if your heart is towards your heart by shaking out shine of his righteousness, you'll preserve it. But nobody that perishes is innocent. Nobody's innocent. Death is a judgment. It, it says the wages of sin is death in Romans 6 and 23. Death is off from sin. But when you cease from sin, the Lord will be your rest. He will be rest for your soul. Yeah, yeah, this is the last one, man. But hey, this here go your understanding right here, man. And we out here. The brothers out here. Uh, one thirty, two o'clock. Mm -hmm. Every Saturday. Right, this is it. YouTube. YouTube. Yep. We all over the planet. You get our work or whatever. Shit, go on YouTube. Get together. You know,
come unto me, yeah. all ye that labor yeah. and are heavy laden, see? and I will give you rest. See, this is where the rest lies there. See, this is where you rest at. Yep. You can't rest without the truth. That's why I say, uh, what I say, uh, uh, the truth shall set you free. So when you start to know the truth and understand, then you are free from all the abundance in your mind, all the corruption in your mind. Now you know the truth. Now you know why you're here. Now you know who you are. Now you know where you're going. But you don't know if you don't come to this. But it's your okay. And you really be able to understand life and death. It's itself, yeah. Yeah. See, you really don't die. Right. Your, your, family, your family is not dead. Your family is alive in the bosom of the Lord. That's right. See, right. You, you really in death. They have entered into life. They have entered into rest. Yeah, they good. My grandfather was a Moor, so I get a little bit of it. Okay. We were kind of like cross, you know what I'm saying? Church, temple. Yeah, that's, but you got to come to the truth. You got to, uh, John 8 and 32, then you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Yeah, I said, dog, it's yeah. going to yeah. free you from the bondage yeah. of, the, of the ideology and dogmas of this world yeah. that yeah. make you feel like. You all is lost. Yeah. You feel yeah. like all is lost. No, we all look. I tell you, we all lose loved ones. Yes. Right? Yeah. We came into this truth. When you lose loved ones with the knowledge of the Lord, it's a whole nother type of. Yeah. Like you, you really, it's hard to gather tears. Yeah. It's it's hard to gather tears. When you, it's hard to gather tears when you come into this truth and you lose someone that's dear to you. You you will cry, but it's not like. You will cry for that day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it might be like all day, but then you may even cry the next day. Because if you do have yeah, time, you have time to mourn. Yeah. But it's yeah. like, eventually it kicks in your mind like, you know what, they in the- They good. They, they good. good. They good, yeah. yeah they in their other tabernacles, yeah. They good. Yeah. yeah. Because this place called hell, did they teach you about? The church. That's, oh, that's a non-existent Greek mythological place uh -huh. right that, that was incorporated by these different uh, uh philosophies of these other churches right yeah. you know with the roman catholic church yeah starting with the uh yeah you finished that yeah. up and uh you got it John. yeah let me get that because i gotta get him all right, huh? all right go go go, go with oh, i ain't trying to wear it right here somebody say something they wait to sit they go ahead go ahead verse 29 the matthew 11 and 29 Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. See? For I am meek and lowly in heart. See that? And you shall find rest unto your soul. Exactly, see? So if you want rest, switch on me. But you gotta have an understanding of the scripture. That's right. The comforter, the comforter is capitalized. That's because it's a spirit. That's right. Of understanding. Everybody got a Bible. You got a Bible. But you don't have the understanding unless you get the comforter. The comforter comes 
to those that the Lord has really set up to receive it. Uh -huh. But you gotta want it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, know, you gotta, you gotta take heed to it. Yeah. You know, you can't be in, you can't be caught up in a whole lot of different doctrines and different understandings. Different beliefs. So you, you gotta, from this day forward, right? Because nothing is by chance. You either was brought here to be marked, to be delivered yeah. as one of the Lord's elect, right. or you were put here to be marked for destruction, which ultimately you'll come back in the kingdom with understanding. Where your family that you're mourning for are now. They understand, uh -huh. but you have the opportunity to understand now right. and be glorified in the Lord when he comes. Right. And we ought to understand it. We can come here and get fed. The comforter, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So the, the, you got the resources in your pocket. Right, right. Got it. And we are here every Saturday. Every Saturday we are here. Every, every Saturday we're right here. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What time? Three o'clock. One o'clock. Three o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And he that may abide with you Praying for the right thing, and huh? he's praying for the right thing, and see, like my wife, dad, my daughter, she OD. Uh, they gave her some cocaine and had too much fentanyl, in it. and the person that gave it to, her, let's just say I took a trip. I came having that trip, I wasn't saying. Yeah, you took it out of your own hand. Hey, check this out, man. We don't want to say too much tonight. I never said that. Yeah. But the Lord said the vengeance is right. here. How about? Yeah. How about? Yeah. Say I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Oh, yeah. Look, look, look. look. You're right. You're right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. You oh, right. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Check this out. Check this out. My sister just died on the same goddamn thing. The same thing. Right, right. Yeah. The same thing. I've been fitting Yeah. I ain't taking my house my own. Why? Because I let the Lord know. Let the Lord handle it. Yeah. That's why you don't care to find it. Because the Lord said the is Yeah. Not that. Day. And you convicted. Yeah. So now you, like, when you came up here, you came in really a foul spirit. You got to get off of it. That's right. You're trying to blame most high. No. I don't blame myself. No. You know, I'm just I'm saying. Now you starting to get a, a, a starting to get word an inkling. You know what I'm saying? Like, I right. mean an inkling. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You're starting yeah. to get an inkling of understanding. That's right. But the spirit on you, while the spirit was over and uh -huh. me on you, yeah. is because you had a you, you had a ill mind towards the most high when you came up mm. I did. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you can't I understand can't it. it. You can't understand I can't fight it, it. I did. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's hard to keep against the priest. Yeah. Yes, but as I the spirit, see how the right. spirit worked though? The spirit yeah. started flowing, now he, what, yeah. he revealing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, how the spirit what? works. I'm finna go cook. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. sit here and do a lot of thinking. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. And reading. Repent and turn back. Repent. Repent and turn Repent. back. That's the right way. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, man. Brother. Have a blessed day, man. May you find peace for your soul. That's right. Yeah. Have a blessed day. Yeah, cut. This Malachi 1 and 2. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet you say, what well, end has that love us? Because that's a lot of our people right now. The Lord don't love us. God don't love us. Look at the condition we're in. Yeah. You know, we ain't got shit. We ain't got shit. Jake say that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? We still alive. It's tough love with the Lord. <laughs> we still here. Yeah. We both been done away with a long time ago. Long time. So how are you going to say the Lord don't love you? When his hand is still stretched out still. Matter of fact, get that he, those he loved and chastens. Yep. I was gonna say too, and plus we his chosen people. I bought the eye. Come on, folks. Oh, like you have a small shot. I like this. Yet you say, where is that has loved us? Right. 
was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord, yet I love Jacob, Israel, man. Still. He still loves his people at the end of the day, man. He still had mercy. The grace probably give to his only begotten son. It's our people that don't love the Lord. That's right. They don't want to repent and come back unto the Lord. Why? Because we're the missing the secret and come back to the Lord. Because they have been deceived by the fucking serpent, man, to think that type of way. You know what I'm saying? To be that type of way of towards the uh towards you have by smell shot. The serpent taught them this shit, man. He saw man. He saw teach you to love the Lord the Lord. He even teach you to hate your own, you know what I'm saying, your own brother. Hey, you go to we went into Job. The reason why Job was saying that Job was saying that you have the parents being right, 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 right. Because of the affliction that he was catching from it. Yeah. Then Job was perfect. The Lord said that to the he uh, wanted to excuse a perfect. Uh -huh. Up perfect upright. He took right. Job whole family. Yeah. What did Job do? He didn't do what you just put on this plate. See? So you have to watch yourself. Because it's a Job kept his integrity. The Lord will test you. By taking your family in the love of yeah. uh, love these more than me, this uh what the Lord yeah, said. Yeah, uh huh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Right. He told Ezra that, right? Yeah, say he told Ezra. You think you love these people more than me? Yeah. I created them. Hey, created them. but like he like he like like uh Job said, Job kept with the table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because remember what the wife said. Curse the most high and die. Yeah. And then he told him, You are all uh Alive. Yeah, yeah. That's right. No, no value. Right. I got one more. This is Job nine and twenty-two. Broski. Yep. Ah, oh, from. So I despise the life. This is one thing that was said. He destroyed the country. Yeah, the Jake. Yeah, the thermite. Yeah. Trying to talk to him. Mm. Mm. Yep. What's up, man? Yeah, Jake. Yeah, yeah Jake. Oh, okay, yeah, it's Jake. It's Jake. It's Jake. It's Judah. Judah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Speck a bird. You're an Israelite. Yeah, Israelite, bro. Israelite. Yeah, I'm going to stay there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hebrew Israelite, yeah. And get Deuteronomy 32 and 28. Yeah. Your sea line, yeah. Come from the line of kings, yeah. Thirty-two and twenty-eight. Mean death, yeah, yeah. I've heard it through like hip hop music. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, right, right. 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, he ain't okay. sure about himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 For, they, uh, for they are a nation board of council. It's yeah. Deuteronomy 32 and 28. Mm -hmm. No, Salak, Genesis 32 and 28. Right. Salak, Genesis 32 and 28. Mm -hmm. This is Genesis. Son of God, 
Israelite. Oh, okay. That's what an Israelite is. You're a son of God. You are direct descendant. The descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yashirah. Wow. God's chosen people out of all the nations on the face of the earth. Right. Prince of the Power. That's right. When we saw you walking, right. we was looking like you were Jacob because it's a certain spirit that we have that's unique from all nations on the face of the earth. Right, right. right. So though you look Japanese, uh -huh. Oriental, right. they say, right. we, we identify our people By the through spirit. the spirit. Oh, you got that's it, dope. You got it. Yeah, that's yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got it, got it. Man. <laughs> so mm -hmm. when you came, it was like, my dad is black. Right. Man, because though we identify by the spirit, mm -hmm. there also is physical uh, guidelines, the principles that preserve nationalities. Mm -hmm. And the seed comes from the father, so the seed determines right. the nationality. Right. The mother right. doesn't determine the nationality. Right. The father does. Go ahead. This is Romans 8 and 16. It says the spirit itself and bear over, witness. And over all of that, mm -hmm. it's the spirit. Right. Because not flesh, the flesh. And, flesh, and uh -huh. flesh and blood profit nothing. Yeah. Right. It's the spirit that quick. Mm -hmm. So we saw your spirit. <laughs> I told you, he said, he said, I, I want to yeah. stop and listen. Yeah. <laughs> like, I heard you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's in Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit, our spirit. Okay. that we are the children of the Most High. Okay. So you keep good. You know, son of God, you're a prince of the power. Cool. And you come from the tribe of Judah. Wow. Judah. GMS that acronym for Great Millstone. Mm -hmm. That's the church. This our church is Great Millstone. Mm -hmm. And we all over the world. Every major city. Countries all over the world. Yep. Wow. And what we do is we, we preach the word and we bear witness with our people through the word. Mm. So it's a lot about yourself that you don't know. You have a whole godly heritage that you don't even know about. Yeah, that's a, right. a heritage that connects directly back to the Son of God. That's right. Mm -hmm. this is, but you can tell that by your mom's side mm -hmm. of life. <laughs> right. You can tell you different. Right. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's hollow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad's side, you get the joy of the Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I go back and I just said, forget it, but I'm going to go see you guys. You got it. All right, we got you one more, one more, real quick. Go ahead, Doc. This is Numbers 1 and 18. Right, you watch this. They assemble all together, the congregation, together on the first day of the second month. Right. And they declared their pedigree. Pedigree go to lineage. Lineage. Oh, yeah. Okay. You see? Yeah. Go, go ahead. After their families. After their families, what? By the house of their fathers. So think about when you go to, do y'all have, um, what does she call, uh, family, uh, family, 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 it's all about the seed of the father. Right. No matter how you look, just like your dad, he's so called Negro, right? Right. And right. your mom, so called Chinese, right? Right. right. What happened? Right. Right. You ain't the same color, but you got the same spirit. She J2. Mm. She J2. But your sister, yeah. I'm not saying that. She J2. You make it so cold. When you have a child, if you have a second, you have another child by a Chinese woman. That child can come out looking way more lighter than you. But guess what? He still got the spirit on him. And he's still alive. See, no yeah. matter how you look, it's the spirit. Yeah. It's not a thing of complexion. Uh -huh. It's not a thing that they don't got nothing to do with. It, yeah. You know? Yeah, confusion uh -huh. the faces. Yeah. That's right. That's dope, man. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Yep. We we'll see how you a mom, though. He, you know what I'm saying? Man, hey. Uh-huh. Hey, Swagging. With the swag. Uh, got this salt. The salt of the earth. Yeah, we the salt of the earth. Right, right, right. Uh, we oh, the yeah. one that get this place life. Yeah. Hey, and put you in on a secret. We created this place. That's right. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Facts. Yeah. Facts. 
we here we here today as mortal men, you know. Right. Yeah. But we're gonna be exalted. We were reading earlier, the Lord said he's gonna exalt the horn of Israel. He's gonna lift us back up. We're just just give him GMS. We're gonna go back to uh, uh we're gonna go back to an angelic state. Right. Right. But it's gonna be on earth. Right. We're gonna right. be on, right. on this planet earth with angelic yeah. power. Right. Yep. We're gonna give you we can, we can give you some resources. Uh, Give some resources. That's right. Yeah. 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 Give yeah. some resources. <laughs> you on the tribe, boy. You on the tribe. Yeah. Yo, he on there. That's dope. Yeah. So you taking me to come back to the heavenly father and serve him with Jesus and say to me, we got a chance of salvation. 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 Oh, yeah, for sure. Because I'm rocking with you about finding you, bro. Yeah. Can I get yeah. one? Yeah, hello, he got one, buddy. Hey, get uh, hey. get Isaiah. Yep, yep. I'll hear up in the break, Luke. Get Isaiah left. That's prophecy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, uh, hey. Get, get Isaiah left. And hey, he better give you some resources. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you go on YouTube. You watch on YouTube. Yeah, you, yeah, you watch on YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm already done with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you know, through hip hop music. Yeah, I hear a lot of stuff. 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 I hear a Isaiah 11 and 10. Mm. And in the day there shall be a root of Jesse which shall stand for an ensign of the people. Right. So it shall the Gentiles seek. Let's talk about who the word is going to call Jesus Christ. Right? He's going to be an ensign to the people. Right? Go ahead. So it shall the Gentiles seek. To it shall the Gentiles seek. These Gentiles is talking about our people. A Gentile, when you go to Gentile, it means heathen. Mm. But we have been scattered amongst the heathen and have become likened unto the heathen. Right. And that's why we lost our love. We lost our heritage. Right, right. We are scattered through men, men, the other nations, yeah. nations and yeah. all our past. Yeah, so seeds got scattered across the earth. It's mm. hard to look different. Right, 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 right. And his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass. And say what? His, his rest shall, shall be glorious. So we're trying to enter into the rest of our Lord. Right? Go ahead. Verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time right. to recover the remnant of his people. This is the Lord. We are an extension of the Lord's hand. Right? right. And he's recovering the remnant of his people. Right. Okay. Okay. Shall, we shall be left from Assyria uh -huh. and from Egypt uh -huh. and from uh, Pathos uh -huh. and from Cush uh -huh. and from Elam uh -huh. and from Shinar mm -hmm. and from Hamid uh -huh. and from the islands <laughs> yep. of the sea. Okay. And he shall okay. set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts. Right. Right. Assemble the outcasts of, of Israel. The outcasts of okay. Israel. And gather together the dispersed. Of Judah and it dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. From the four corners of the earth, they mean all around the world. All right, right. he's going to recover his people through this word. That's right, Damn, man. So, like you said, nothing happened back when this Right, it was meant to be. Yep, and this was meant to be. Man, going out of the world, how can man going to stand his own way? So, you were meant to come down here at this time. Man. Oh, that's so bad. Yep, 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 yep. Enjoy your day, man. Have a blessed day. Yeah, yeah. Every state. Yeah. It's a bunch of uh, uh, Reuben, well, they, they, some of the nations, some of the, you know, you see, they don't talk about the black Seminole mm -hmm. Indians down there in Florida. They, don't talk, they still around. Mm -hmm. They don't talk about that. Well, we talk about them. Right. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, other, you know, you already know. It's yeah, over yeah, with. I gotta find something else. I'm gonna I'm see it respectfully. Hey, uh, can we can we go back to second? Uh, not nah, second. Uh, Revelation two and twenty six. That's what he. Mm -hmm. That's what uh, Jake had interrupted with me. Uh, that's what was okay. Right, 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 right. Revelation two and twenty six. This is Revelation chapter two. Mm -hmm. I get, I get that Thermaio. Two and twenty six. It reads, and he that overcometh 
and keeping my works. See, and that's what's happening, right? The, 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 the mm -hmm. Lord is giving us the means to overcome this world. That's why you see Jake, you know, starting the pressure coming. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what Jake don't really understand. The Lord gonna put the pressure on you to come to him. You ain't gonna, if, if everything is uh, sweet, you know, mm -hmm. ain't gonna come. <laughs> uh, who's that move at? Shit ain't sweet out here, B. Yeah. Pay the fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he can say, you know what I said? He chastened. He say, he say he chastened those that he loves. So, no right? Yeah, you yeah. must tribulation. You must tribulation. Shall we enter to the kingdom of heaven? No? Oh, yeah. No. Revelation chapter 2 and 26. Mm -hmm. And he that overcome and keeping my works. Overcome the tribulation. Yeah. Go ahead. Until the end, to him will I give power over the nation. The way that you overcome the tribulation is by keeping the Lord's works until the end. That's what, you know, when we talk about a spiritual bank account, mm -hmm. that's what you build your spiritual bank account up with. So that you can have enough to pay for that <laughs> intergalactical airline ticket. <laughs> yep. You know? Come. Interdimensional. You know, you're going to be able to go to the spiritual realm, man. Right? And he said he's going to give us what over the nations? Power over the nations. Yeah. Right? Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Rule them with a rod of iron. No, no. As the vessels of a water shall so they be broken to silver, even as I receive of my father. Yep. Yep. Yeah. What's going to happen? Yeah. Yeah. He said, what? Well, he said, 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 that's good. That's a good show. Oh, that motherfucker about to hit something. Hey, they're like they're flying with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it went up in the air. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's good. Yeah. It's a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it lifted up in the air. Hey, hey, you know that? I, I, I watch our lives and I know that that happened. Like when you about to give a really, really deep. Missions, or you about to quote something that's very, very meaningful. Yeah. Something just come out of nowhere. And just, like I seen it on a lot of y'all. Yeah. As you can see, that was slowed down because he didn't want to do that. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he like, I don't know, he gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know why it's a hump right there, man. The Lord be giving us confirmation in so many ways, man. Just can't, can't take it. Yep. Because the Lord know that we are we are fleshly people. Especially how the spirit of the Lord how it moves, man. You ain't like that. To the spirit, guess what? He give us he give us fleshly rewards. Mm -hmm. But hey, kind. Like, <laughs> like really like testing on like spirit. You take care of the spirit, you know, and he gonna take care of the work. Right, right, right. Do the work. Just work on the Lord, man. They say cancel bronze for the find him. Let's take care of the kind of things, man. Right. He just wants to shoot the team to take care of his one. Right. Hey, fellas, um, what are y'all thoughts about the COVID-19 vaccination? Hey, you saw his face in special man. He's like, bro, he's a good girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try not to say that yeah, word on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say Vicky. Hey, they gonna mess with you because yeah. of the word of God, not because yeah. of COVID, man. I'm just being real with you. Hey, they gonna mess with you. They gonna mess with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got you, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got you, though. Yeah, yeah. Come. Yeah, how about you? Yeah, how about you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Might be a let. You want to say peace and blessing to the hopeful elect on the four corners. Could be a truth and sincerely. They're going to say, hey, hold fast. Put your hand. No man take that crown. Next time, you can talk about it. Abad, 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 Abad,